Moving to the next fallacy found in a thread of My Hero Academia, we get a case of unreliable narration. By itself, this is not a bad thing. What a character says doesn't have to be true all the time. He could be wrong or he could be lying. The thing is, it becomes a fallacy when someone uses it as a speculation for why something is not what it seems to be. For example, when it was stated the series has no tension because we already know the ending from the protagonist's mouth, a fanboy theory crafted the possibility of Deku lying about it. There is no evidence to support this claim, he just said it to defend the show. The thing with unreliable narration is that it's often used as an excuse for us pools. Although we are not supposed to accept the author of a story using every character as a mouthpiece for his personal agendas, we still need to trust what we are told or shown in order to understand, feel or analyze a series. When they change what was said earlier and completely turn around what you knew up to that point with no foreshadowing, then it's an ass pool and you're treated like an idiot. It's also what happens recently with the ridiculous power-ups the female Saiyans are getting in Dragon Ball. They try to defend it by saying the Super Saiyan transformation is not hard to achieve. The heroes just didn't know that at first and assumed it was a legendary power only one warrior every 1000 years could acquire. Yeah, it has absolutely nothing to do with nerfing the transformation, so every Saiyan can achieve it as a lazy power-up. The same applies with many other shows, which expect you to take things for granted before switching them around when they are inconvenient. Such as defending Sybil in Psychopaths as a necessary evil, since without it society would be way worse, and yet on every step of the way you are constantly shown how incompetent it is, how other areas are way worse because of it, and how the ideal Sybil citizen is the one who knows all that and doesn't want Sybil. This is the result of people accepting everything at face value, while at the same time ignoring the obvious. They had to call upon the god of everything in order to solve their problems, which part of me knew that this was the thing, but part of me was so immersed that I didn't care. Goku dismissed it, and so did I. Something I hear a lot coming from fans of obviously bad shows is how they do not see the problems in the narrative because the protagonist doesn't see them either. The excuse is they consider those stories as character-driven instead of story-driven, so they accept everything that is going on as identifying with the protagonist and viewing things as he does. They even go as far as saying you are not supposed to bring your personal beliefs and knowledge in a fictional story because you are not the protagonist. You do not think like him nor does he know what you do. You can only view the story through his point of view, therefore ignoring the obvious makes sense. Just like everything else nowadays, there is a trope for this sort of situation and its name is plot-induced stupidity. The characters are behaving idiotically so the conflict won't be solved too easily. Most viewers who like the show will not care since they are engaged. If the protagonist ignores it, so do they because it's supposed to be in character. It's easy to explain the whole thing as badly written when to the most part it's not bad as it is lazy. The author is deliberately writing the situation as such for the sake of maintaining tension and an not because he's not self-aware. This makes it worse in terms of quality since a bad writer is not aware of the problem, while a manipulative one is and capitalizes the short side of the audience. We can applaud the writer for managing to trick the audience like a good magician, but it also begs the question of how receptive is an audience supposed to be? Are we meant to accept everything that is going on without using critical thinking? Are we supposed to limit ourselves to in-series logic alone? And even if we do, what kind of logic can explain irrational human behavior. Humans make mistakes all the time, so what counts as being in character when they are so chaotic? What is a character-driven story when anything they do is excused as typical human error? What's the point of wondering why they did something when it's just going to be ignored as normal? Some consistency is needed and not everything should be accepted as fine. Because if you do, this will happen. I'm so happy. <laughs>